I'm back. Did you miss me? What's up everyone, it's Kyle from Color Expression, back with another swatch and review. I'm so excited to be partnering up with Picture Polish today to look at their new coral collection. These are five shades all inspired by types of, say it with me, coral. <laughs> This collection is the first of Picture Polish's Polish with a Purpose initiative, so a dollar of every bottle sold will be going to the Living Coral Biobank. That's a project dedicated to protecting and preserving coral biodiversity. Inspired by that, Picture Polish created this collection with reflective glitters, which is meant to represent the sunlight shining down on the waves and what lies beneath, and I, they seriously nailed it. Pun intended. These shades are available for $12.79 USD each on the Picture Polish website, so I will link that down below, as well as links to their FAQ and shipping pages. That way you can check it to see if they ship to your country. But I do want to mention US orders over $90 do qualify for express shipping. So for free, I've, for, it's free express shipping. A few things about Picture Polish, if you are unfamiliar with them, they are an Australian nail polish brand that was started almost 15 years ago by two sisters named Jules and Megs. Their formula is 10 free, plant-based, breathable, and vegan with no animal testing. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe down below with the notification bell on, that way you're never gonna miss out on a new video, and stay tuned after the swatches today because each polish in this collection is named after a type of coral, so I looked up every coral a little fun fact so we're gonna we're gonna have some fun fun coral facts after the swatches but for now let's just look at the polishes starting out we will look at sun coral which is a pinky kind of violet base and by base i actually mean this pigment that i truly cannot accurately describe it's like a shimmer but it's bigger than a shimmer and it's sort of iridescent but like barely and I don't know it's super beautiful this pigment is in all of these polishes but in different colors so you'll get to see a lot of it and then of course the reflective glitter so I kind of just talked a lot but this was a two coat coverage shade this whole collection was two coat coverage for me and it did dry down textured with those reflective glitters so you're going to want to put on a glossy top coat as you always do but especially with these just to kind of smooth that out even it out a little bit make it look a little bit nicer and when you put your phone flash on this reflective pigment you can just see how it lights up it's so shiny it's so cool and like this is the sort of thing that is on a street sign or a bumper or a sneaker it's that really bright in a light pigment so super cool i love these so much Next, we've got Staghorn, which is a green version of that pigment, and this one sort of switches over to a blue at the extreme angle, like a multi-chrome or a duochrome would, so we'll get to see a little bit of that in the full hand shot, but for right now, this application was very smooth. I really enjoy the picture polish formula, and I don't know if it's something about the plant-based aspect of it, but... It kind of smells good to me. Like it smells a little bit sweeter than your run of the mill nail polish. So I really liked that about this and it was a nice easy to use formula. It wasn't too thick. It was really, it, it just, it worked really well. And if you've never used their shades, I've found them all to be like that. Their formula is just really good. So I definitely recommend them to a beginner or an expert if there's a color you like. And like I said, you can sort of see that blue kind of coming through on the extreme angle. In person that does come through a little bit more. And then when we put that foam flash on, it's just, it's just unreal, I think it transforms these nails so much it's so fun next we have sea fan which is a bit of a teal but mostly blue leaning shade i guess i would say this one has that shimmery pigment in here again paired with the reflective glitter and i don't know this one really called to me something about this blue color with the reflective and just all the sparkle and the way this undescribable to me pigment reacts in the light it's just it's very cool in this little wiggle look at how cool and just dimensional and almost velvet like magnetic velvet nail effect i don't know it's just a very unique shade i love this finished nail this manicure i'm 
I'm obsessed with this one. If you're gonna buy one from this collection, I say get this one. It's so pretty. And of course, once we put the phone flash on, those reflective glitters are going to light up a little bit more. And the tip in real life, if you wanna get sort of that brighter effect is put the phone flash between your eyes, like put it on your nose and like, Put your phone on your nose and then you'll you'll get this effect next we have sea whip which is a bit more of a deep or i guess you could say royally blue version of this pigment and then of course the reflective glitter and this one similar to the last one just i'm thinking as we're getting to these sort of darker colors the 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 pigment in these just shines the light back so beautifully as we put on the second coat you can just see this looks like the ocean they completely accomplish their goal by creating this polish it it looks like an ocean with the the glittering sun on it it's so stunning and maybe i take back what i said about the last one maybe you should get this one maybe you should just get them all because they're so unique and beautiful if you've never tried a reflective polish i think one of these would be a great first one to try it's it's not all reflective glitter there's other stuff in it too so it's pretty at all times even if you don't happen to have a flash on which realistically people don't usually have a flash on but when you do it's damn cool to round out the collection we will look at brain coral which is a bit of a grayed out blue base it's it's not a fully punchy blue it's a bit of a dulled blue and then there's this pink shimmer in here like a pinky purple maybe it's some sort of pigment from the first shade we looked at i don't know but wow this one is stunning i love the juxtaposition of the that that really fine shimmer in the base color with the reflective glitter it's just a really beautiful combo and if you're a purple lover like me i feel like this one this is another one to get i'm i'm just gonna tempt you to spend all your money because is beautiful when we have this full hand here how that pink shines through when the light hits it and in person of course you just you get that effect even more everything is always so much prettier in person as hard as we try to capture it all of us swatchers but you got to try some of these out for yourself they're just gorgeous and look at that reflective glit look at the glit it's it's insane i'm i'm completely obsessed all right, are you ready to learn about coral? Cause I'm ready to school you. First up, sun coral, interestingly enough, lives, can live without the sunlight. Hello? It also doesn't have an algae in it that most coral does have. So it has to manually catch its food with those long tentacles. Staghorn, which is known for looking similar to deer antlers, which I see it. Do you see it? I totally see it. But that one is one of the most important corals in the Caribbean, and it does this thing where it grows really fast, so it kind of outgrows the other coral around it, and it just, it just grows. The sea fan, a horny coral. Not my word choice. I didn't say it. Britannica said it. Anyway, they have flexible spines so they can survive really well in strong currents and they're also in almost every sea around the world. Next up is our little buddy, the Sea Whip, which is considered an octocoral because it has eight tentacles on each polyp. Fun, octocoral. Finally, the Brain Coral, I bet you can't guess why they named it that, can grow up to six feet tall and live for 900 years. And that, my friends, is why the ocean is scary and beautiful and we should protect it. Now that we have seen the shades in this video, I want to hear your thoughts on them. So leave a comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite and if you'll be picking any of these up. I personally really like the combination that Picture Polish decided to go with in this collection, like those sort of iridescent metallic like shimmer whatever that pigment is paired with the reflective glitter it's just it's really nice it's something that i don't have in my collection so i was excited to get these and play around with them and i just i love the uniqueness of them so i'm excited to see what they continue to come out with in the future like i mentioned don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you're always catching the newest nail polish content and i know you might be like there hasn't been any, <laughs> but there's gonna be some. So we are, we have actual videos coming. We have swatches, we have really fun stuff. So I truly mean it. I actually mean 
if you like this stuff, subscribe because there is more coming your way very soon. That's going to be it for this one today, though. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> What's up everyone, it's Coral from Color Expression. <laughs> Just will be going to the Living Coral Biodome. <laughs> Biobank. It's not funny. <laughs> it's got it.